guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 12 of Magic of Aquata. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go! See, that's what I wish was like today in Florida. It, it's just been sunny as fuck, and I'm getting tired of sun. I would like for one day just to rain. I wasn't expecting a voice like that to come out, but I mean, fortune telling. Because you don't want them to get hurt again. Or is it do you want to get hurt again? Apparently not in real life. Then that means the other girl, she probably doesn't have it. But you, you have met her, though. Okay. Then it makes me wonder. Does I have to face seeing the other girl though? I mean, we've now seen her redhead. Why have we not seen the other one? I don't know. Thank you. 
No, just come on. You you can't explain, please. You say that, but it does. It does. Okay. Guys. <laughs> You don't really want to know. She's been hiding. Let's just say that. Kaeda, you're scaring me. Jesus, they had to show Cube like that. Mm -mm. I mean, of course, she's going to see them destroy the wood, but something else is going to happen. Who is that in the back?
She died, didn't she? No, mm -hmm, I was right. You don't want to do that, though. Yeah, um. Yeah, she's dead. You can't bring her back with that. Now, see, if you knew this before, you probably would have said no to you, but I mean, I know, I sure as hell would. <laughs> you going to try to kill baby Cuba now? I mean, Jesus. It's okay. She'll go. She don't care. Oh, I have her! Yeah, I wonder why she looks so familiar to me. <laughs> But so you would think that after what's your wrist died, these two would just like immediately split up in the group and they would go their separate ways. And Yachido would still become depressed and kind of distance herself from people. AKA the way how she kind of is right now, but no. She's so stubborn, too, but that's what I love about her. She just doesn't want to lose anyone again. I 
this now. Two people who she was close to. Both of them are gone. She's gonna turn. And they had to kill her. But there was nothing else that they could do. Mm-hmm. And so. Yeah. Um Mhm. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Other magical girls. It, it's basically, as I said before, <laughs> when I watch the show for the first time, it's the circle of life. Because you think you were doing something good, that you were destined to do this. No! You turn it out just like everybody else! Yeah. You turned into one too, didn't you? I still got to say, though, which is one of the most interesting designs about this series overall. Yeah, so. Mm hmm. What? The wings of the mangas? Uh, the doffles, yeah. 
because she's already seen her doppel. Or well, I know we used to be saw that weeks ago. Was that your wish, though? You a part of it too, ain't you, Kyed? God damn it. Because it's the only way they'll be able to be saved. Test it. Okay, well, um, wasn't expecting all that to happen in this episode. I'm glad because the biggest thing is, like, I think ever since I played the game and I had questions about the doppels and I was like, well, maybe it's something that it'll get answered when I get there in due time. So I'm glad that this episode went a little more into detail about it because going, I love the fact is th this episode just felt like a college seminar. You're just sitting here for 12 or 20, I mean, not 12 minutes. 24 minutes learning more things about these magical girls so then you go like it's let's say this let's say next week after i'm doing watching this series i go back and rewatch um magica madoka magica and looking at it it's going to be like slightly different because then you're going to be sitting here questioning things that you've watched about this series and then questioning that back and forth and that's what it truly seems because go with the fact is that this little girl defied the fact is of Cuba saying, yeah, you're going to turn into a witch. We're going to give you a doppel instead. And I mean, I don't know. Her, her cult thing, honestly, and I cannot believe I'm about to say this, may not be that bad, though. Cuba is still the villain of this series, no matter what. But, I mean, the wings, I, I'd rather have a doppel than just be a witch and then, you know, die. But, I mean... Oh, God. I, it's like, think about that. Would you rather die or would you rather just still keep on living and being a doppel and still be able to work back to to being a human and such? It's a, I mean, <clears throat> and, and someone's going to be like, oh, no, apples and oranges. Apples and oranges, my butt. But I like, the fact is that Mel was in this episode and I looked at her first time and I was like, there's a reason why she looks familiar to me. And then it just hit me and I was like, oh, my God, I'm so stupid. I had her. I have her still. She's not my, um, I don't even know when the hell she came home. She came home, like, one day, and I was like, oh, she's cute. And I was like, hmm, pretty. But now learning about her a little bit in this episode is kind of sad because now I want to know more about her. And the same thing with the other girl because she kind of gave me feels towards, um, this one series, uh, Yuki Yuna is a hero chapter, chapter Washi, and the situation that happens to that when it is a group of girls, and two or three or four of them are her, and there's only one left, and she's fighting to literally not only protect herself, but others, and in the end, she dies, and you, because of the fact is you've seen her in several episodes, and you've gotten to learn to know her and everything, it's a lot more sadder to see her die, rather than this girl who's been in this group with Yashiro and, um, Mafio and Mel, and having to the fact is that I just met her today. It's like I kind of felt something for her in her death, but then at the same time, I'm not because I just literally met her in this episode. It's kind of like how I felt with the first episode of um, Sifu Gear with Kanade because I couldn't feel anything at that moment in time because I just met her character right then and there. So, but yeah, it was a very interesting episode, and I got to learn things that I was wondering the hell about from months ago 
finished, but now, I mean, I hope Yachiro can get to Iroha in time to save her freaking girlfriend and be like, look, it's up to you. If you want to stay with this cult, you stay with this cult. If you if you want to come home with me and the rest of the girls want to come home too and we be a family again and not keep secrets, it is sad that she did keep the secret from these girls, but I think she did it more in a loving way. I get that because she wants to protect them and she doesn't want the same situation to happen to them that's happened to people who she's loved and cared about in the past. But sometimes you never really truly know. Two, I'm praying because of the fact is this is the last episode of this show. Please. <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen, but please let Madoka or Homane, um, Homane make an appearance. They're the only two besides, I'm forgetting somebody. I am. Mm -hmm. What's her face? Madoka's friend. Make them be in this last freaking episode. They're the only three girls out of our group has who has made an appearance in this damn show. It would just be nice. End it with our goddess, please. It would make so much sense. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 12 of Magic Over Quad If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for the finale. Bye, guys.